I haven't really posted a mail day in a while. Um, it's probably my fault because the last time that I ordered a lot of packages at one time, I actually opened them in two separate um, sort of waves of four packs. I, I bought eight packages and I opened four at a time and four at a time. I didn't record the first four, so I didn't really want to post all of them. Anyway, though, sorry for rambling. Uh, today, I wanted to open what I just bought off of Zodiac. Hopefully, this guy didn't scam me. I guess we'll find out live. Um, anyway, I want to open these and kind of talk about um, if I feel they're a good investment. And uh, yeah, I, I suppose probably should open them before we start talking here. So um, today, okay, it looks like he didn't scam us. Uh, I actually bought Zoo. Um, we can kind of take a look here. So we have looks like three first edition Zodiac Barrages. And let's see, we got two first edition. I don't really have to say it's first edition because they're all first edition. But we have Barrages, Dridents, and uh, Broadbull, Check 9, Tiger Mortar. Uh, those aren't really in frame. So I obviously posted a deck profile using these cards. I felt that they were really good in dinosaurs, and I, I do feel that way. Um, this obviously isn't enough to play any sort of pure zoo variant where you would need like three Dryden and two or three Broad Bowl, two Chak Nine, uh, maybe two Tiger Mortar. Um, so it's, this is only what you would need for like splashing the engine in different decks, which is the only thing I plan on doing really is playing in dinosaurs. But um, so I, I haven't bought a lot of meta cards um, this year. Usually what I do is I, I don't really invest in Yu-Gi-Oh in the middle of the season. So like when Powder Desires came out, that was at the very start of this this year's regional seasons. I, I bought three of those and I used it in a lot of different times. But then when Zoo came out, I didn't buy any of them. I didn't buy $90 barrages. I didn't buy $60 barrages. Um, I waited until literally this past week to uh, finally pick this stuff up. And uh, it was only about $100. And uh, I feel fine with that. You know, I, I wasn't really going to tournaments. Um, and maybe I would have been going to uh, tournaments if I uh, had Zoo. But really, I didn't really like... I don't really like Zoos as, like, a deck. Um, they're fine as, like, an engine. And they're it's cool when this gets hit by Ghost Starters. So you can, like, do other stuff. But um, I don't really... I'm not really interested by this deck. So I didn't really want to pick them up. And, uh, yeah, I think that was a good idea. Um, obviously, if you want to be competitive in this game... You would have wanted to get these sooner but uh basically i picked these up because i i was actually borrowing the zoo cards that you saw me use at the uh, switch tournament because i wasn't sure i wanted to make sure dinosaur yang zings with zoo were actually worth playing before i bought all this stuff and they definitely are worth playing you might have seen me do two live streams now they're about an hour long each where we just did a whole bunch of test hands i think i convinced a lot of people that the deck was good um anyway though i i decided to pick these up for one tournament which we can kind of talk about that real quick here because um, <laughs> is spending $100 for one tournament like the greatest idea? Probably not. Um, but I really think that these cards are just worth it. Um, would I pick up Zoo if you aren't going to the WCQ? No, definitely not. Would I pick up Zoo if uh, you've never played... Like if you, I wouldn't pick up like a full pure Zoo deck if you didn't have like Invoker and Emeralds and stuff. I wouldn't pick up that right now. Um... I basically only pick up Zoo if you are playing it at the the WCQ and it significantly increases your chances of doing well. And by that I mean um, I I tested these cards and dinosaurs before I bought them. I didn't just say, hey, I'm going to throw Zoo in here and I'm sure it'll make the deck better. No, I, I had some theory behind it, wanted to test it, and then when I tested it, I was like, okay, it's worth picking up. But if you're just putting it in like whatever random deck you're playing um if you don't have these cards already then like i don't think it's like a good investment because uh what's going to happen on sunday and i already know it they, these will probably be <laughs> you could probably buy all this stuff from some salty player that won like x3 drop on saturday or sunday obviously outside of the venue um but you could buy it from them for 60 bucks or 70 bucks and that might sound like an exaggeration if you've never gone to nats but people are salty on the weekends it is the best time to pick stuff up um that'd be the that'll be the time that i pick up if like ashes if i still don't have those yet um if i want other of these cards like more masterpieces i could do that if you need cards pick them up on sunday of nats because everyone is quitting the quote unquote quitting the game um and they're just really angry so it's the best time to pick them up but i felt that i needed these for the event i felt that they helped my deck a lot uh but if you and if you have Z right now, I would really try to sell it before Nat starts, because once Sunday comes around, all these cards are just going to tank. 
And they'll probably go back up back when August um, comes around or September when we start link format. But I think for now, the next two months, if you don't need these cards for Nats, just don't buy them. Just stay away. A couple of people asked on the live stream if I thought it was a good investment. Um, I don't. But I need them for the event, so I picked them up. I don't have, like, um, I'm not, like, in poverty or something, so I don't really care about spending the $100 for the one event. But if you're sort of, if you're a budget player that thinks that Zoo is cheap now, so you want to pick it up, I would just recommend saving your money and spending it on a deck that's going to get you a little more longevity, um, a little more bang for your buck, as you will. But anyway, that was sort of my mail day opening and discussion video about if I think Zoo is worth investing in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.